Hello everyone and welcome to Jacklet Educational Channel. So we are continuing the crash course series in which we are discussing expected and important questions related to environmental science examination and we are starting today with the unit 7 which is solid and hazardous waste management of the syllabus according to NET environmental science. So to check the previous lessons of the different units you can check the link in the given in the description below. So let's start today's video. The first question we will take as we are having the discussion This question came in NET 2019 examination. The question was Municipal Solid Waste Management and Handling Rules 2000 is replaced by which of the following rules? So from this question you will be able to know one answer that is the Municipal Solid Waste Management and Handling Rules was first initiated in 2000 in India and after that it was modified in which of the following years? So here The correct option will be option number C. Yes, in the year 2016, this rule was replaced by solid waste management rules. So you have to remember this because this question came in exam and this is very important. So as you have started the solid waste management, so let's see what are the types of solid waste. So solid waste can be segregated and divided into two broad categories that is municipal solid waste and other solid waste so you have to remember municipal solid waste is denoted by msw so in some question you will get msw as question and in one more way also the solid waste can be separated and segregated so these are one is from the waste which are then generated from kitchen households and markets and other is the waste which are generated from construction waste demolition site and waste from automobiles so waste from kitchen household and markets can also be divided into two categories that are rubbish which are combustible rubbish which are trash and newspaper that are combustible in nature and non combustible rubbish which are cans in which we can see we can find oil and other grocery items and tins which are used for cold drinks and other valuable items so these are some of the segregation and division of solid waste let's move to the next slide so here one more important category is given for the solid waste that can be hazardous and non hazardous solid waste so for hazardous solid waste the definition is waste having one or more than one properties of the following five properties will be regarded as hazardous solid waste and which of the properties is not having at least one then that waste will be called as non hazardous solid waste so iska matlab ye hai ki koi bhi ek waste mein अगर इन पांच कैटेगरीज में से कोई एक भी उसका प्रॉपर्टीज उसमें पाया जाता है तो उसे कहेंगे हम हजारडस वेस्ट सो so, देखते हैं ये पांच कैटेगरीज और प्रॉपर्टीज क्या है फर्स्ट प्रॉपर्टी इज इग्निटेबिलिटी सो इग्निटेबिलिटी मीन्स इग्निशन इग्निशन का मतलब होता है द वेस्ट कैचिंग फायर स्पॉन्टेनियसली अंडर सिक्सटी डिग्री सेल्सियस सो जो वेस्ट सिक्सटी डिग्री सेल्सियस के अंडर में फायर को कैच कर लेता है स्पॉन्टेनियसली उसे कहेंगे इग्निटेबिलिटी ऑफ दैट वेस्ट नेक्स्ट प्रॉपर्टी इज रिएक्टिविटी दैट इज when the waste is having explosion reactivity or highly reactive so these are two different things explodes means wo jab blast kar jata hai and reactive means for example the waste which is having sodium lithium or potassium content it will be called as highly reactive waste so next property is corrosive so corrosive nature kise kahenge so the solid waste which will be having ph less than 2 so less than 2 means highly acidic or if the waste is having ph of greater than 12 that is highly alkaline that will be also called as highly corrosive so if these two things are having in the properties of the waste then it is called as corrosive waste next property is toxicity so here the toxicity is further categorized into three different categories that is mutagenic teratogenic and carcinogenic so mutagenic means those who can do mutation jo mutation kar sakta hai jo waste उसे कहेंगे म्यूटेजेनिक वेस्ट दैट मीन्स फॉर एग्जाम्पल वेस्ट विच इज हैविंग यू वी रेज देन इट विल बी कॉल्ड एज द म्यूटेजेनिक वेस्ट दैट इज हैविंग हाई टॉक्सिक एंड नेक्स्ट विच इज नोन एज टेराटोजेनिक टेराटोजेनिक का मतलब होता है द वेस्ट विच कैन कॉज बर्थ डिफेक्ट सो इट कैन बी वेस्ट और इट कैन बी एनी कंपाउंड विच कॉज इज बर्थ डिफेक्ट इट विल बी नोन एज टेराटोजेनिक सो फ्रॉम द मदर टू चाइल्ड इफ समथिंग इज पास सच एज एग्जाम्पल एज लेड मर्क्यूरी or the effect of alcohol and cigarette containing carbon monoxide and causing defects in the newly born baby then it is known as teratogenic kind of toxicity next aate hain carcinogenic so carcinogenic i hope you all know the ones which are causing cancer so cancer causing best example is uv rays so these are the toxicity examples the kind of toxic elements 
Next is infectious. So the waste which are infectious will be having number of bacteria and viruses. For example, waste which will be having the cotton with blood will be having number of viruses and bacteria. So that will infect other organism. So it will be very very hazardous. So you have to remember one thing. IRCTI. So you all know IRCTC. So IRCTC we are able to book the railway ticket. But IRCTI that is ignitability, reactivity, corrosiveness, toxicity and infectiousness denotes that the solid waste is hazardous in nature. So remember these five important properties of hazardous solid waste. Let's move to the next question. The next question is the heating value of waste material is determined experimentally by using which of the following methods. So you should know that heating value is measured in kilojoule per kg. For example, agar koi waste ko hum burn karte hain, to per kg of burning of that waste will emit how much amount of energy that is measured in kilojoule amount of energy. So here the correct option will be option number C, bomb calorimeter. So through the use of bomb calorimeter, we can determine the heating value that is given in kilojoule per kg of waste materials. The next question is, in the equation L0 is equal to I minus E minus small a w to find the free leachate retained at site, E denotes what? So in the equation which is given over here, we have to say that what is the meaning of E in this equation. So this equation you have to remember, this equation is used to find the free leachate rate at the site where it is having landfills. So here the correct option will be option number C evapotranspiration loss is denoted by the symbol E in this equation. So this is very important you should know the values and the meaning of every alphabets. So here L0 means as you have known that it is the leachate that is free leachate retained at site that is equivalent to leachate production minus leachate leaving the site. Next comes the alphabet I so capital I denotes total liquid input. And here E ka matlab hai, that is the value of capital E means evapotranspiration losses as we have known from this question. Then comes small a. So small a denotes the absorption capacity of the waste. And next is the capital W. So this capital W denotes the weight of the waste disposed. So you have to remember this formula because you can get numericals related to this equation. Let's move to the next question. The next question is, bitumen and sodium bentonite are generally used in landfills as which of the following? So here the correct option will be option B liners. So these are used as liners in the landfills because for example let us assume this is the landfill and here the waste are filled. So when it is filled with waste it should not contaminate with the water which is present underneath that is the ground table the groundwater table and it should also not go get outside the soil and deteriorate the soil pollution and create the air also pollution so for this there is a barrage or breakage which is known as liners which are mostly given by bitumen and sodium bentonite products so let's move to the next question the next question is the control of transboundary movements of hazardous waste and their disposal is related to which of the following convention or protocol. So here the correct option will be option number C Basel convention. Yes before knowing that you should know that what are this protocol that is Cartagena protocol you all know it is related to biosafety. Kyoto protocol is related to 1997 which is involving the reduction of greenhouse gases and next is Antarctic treaty. So these three are out of the following question the correct option will be option number C Basel convention so let's know more about this Basel convention actually the full name of Basel convention is the Basel convention on the control of transboundary movements of hazardous waste and their disposal so why this boundary word is used because this is the treaty which is usually known as the Basel convention it's an international treaty which was designed to reduce the movement of hazardous waste. So we, we have learned IRCTI, so it means that whatever the five things the properties are, it denotes it, it says hazardous waste, from them one, so the movement between nations to restrict it, 
specifically from preventing this waste from developed to less developed countries so इसे ये prevent करता है इस treaty के द्वारा कि जो developed countries है developed nation अपना hazardous waste जो है वो less developed या poor countries को transfer ना करें so इसके लिए ये signature हुआ था 1989 में adopt किया गया था and it came into force in 1992 so at the time of signature the signatories were 53 in number so here why it is called as Basel Convention because वो Basel Switzerland में वो वहाँ पे convention वहाँ पे organize हुआ था so that's all in this part of the video in our next video we will discuss about the stages in the landfill sites and the leachate formation and all the steps required for the landfill so stay tuned for further updates and don't forget to subscribe the channel if you haven't subscribed till now.